It's well accepted that a manufacturer has a responsibility to ensure that a product itself doesn't pose unnecessary risks to users. But when designing a product, does a manufacturer also need to consider risks posed by the environment where the product will be used? In Bernier v. Boston Edison Company, we explore this question in the context of negligence liability. Alice Ramsdell was exiting a parking space near a crowded shopping center when she collided with another vehicle driven by John Boireau. Ramsdell subsequently lost control of her car, confusing the brake and gas pedals. She mounted a curb and traveled approximately 55 feet down a busy sidewalk, hitting a parking meter, knocking over a street lamp, and striking Arthur Bernier and Patricia Casputis, two teenagers taking an after-school ice cream break. The felled street lamp, owned by Boston Edison Company, landed on Bernier, breaking his legs and causing permanent disfigurement. There was no evidence that the street lamp also struck Casputis, but she suffered a skull fracture caused by metal and wire embedded in the side of her head, and it was suspected that those materials came from the street lamp. Bernier and Casputis each filed suit against Ramsdale and Boireau for their respective injuries. Both teenagers subsequently also asserted claims against Edison, alleging negligence based on the design and selection of the street lamp. After consolidating the cases, the trial court held Ramsdell and Edison, but not Boireau, liable for the injuries to Bernier and Casputis. Edison appealed to the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court, arguing that there was insufficient evidence to support the jury's finding that Edison negligently designed the street lamp or, alternatively, that any negligent design caused the injuries to Bernier and Casputis.